The Bible records the military campaign that King Sennacherib of Assyria carried out against Judah. Sennacherib's invasion of Judah, destruction of Lachish, and the besieging of Jerusalem that traps King Hezekiah inside. The Bible is not the only document to record these events. There have been four clay cylinders and three clay prisms found buried in the foundation of Sennacherib's palace at Nineveh. He had them written less than a year after his conquest of Judah, and then buried for future generations to uncover. The prisms end with a request from Sennacherib. In future days, when this palace grows old and falls into ruins, May some future prince repair its ruined parts. May he take notice of my name. Sennacherib's effort to secure a lasting name has had pleasant side effects for us today. The rest of the text is stunning. It records, Hezekiah of Judah would not bow down to me. Forty-six of his strongholds, all walled cities, as well as innumerable smaller towns in his territory, were taken. My men brought up siege engines, raised them to the ground with battering rams, attacked and took them by storm. The king himself was holed up in his royal city, caught like a bird in a cage. The glory of my greatness overwhelmed Hezekiah in his terror. In the end, he had to submit to my yoke and pay me tribute. What Sennacherib does not say is important. Sennacherib never claims to have destroyed Jerusalem. In fact, he has his palace walls decorated with scenes of destruction from Judah's number two city, Lachish. The Bible and Sennacherib agree. The land of Judah was devastated, Hezekiah humiliated, but Jerusalem was not lost. <laughs>